Hey everyone, welcome back. This is my new series, Pixel Progress, where I will be testing and comparing GPUs of the same series across different generations so we can easily see how much of a difference there is. In this comparison, I'll be looking at NVIDIA's 70 series. I typically think of the 70 series as the beginning of the mid-tier of graphics cards. I think the 60 series are normally kind of considered budget or entry level. And then 80 is kind of when you're getting into the higher end. And 70 is right in the middle of that. So I'd say if we're comparing to cars, the 60 series is kind of, you know, the base car. You're getting the car, but you're not getting a lot of bells and whistles, okay? On the 70 series, you're starting to get some of these options, okay? You got power windows, power locks, now you're getting somewhere, right? So with the 70 series, you know, I think DLSS works very well. I think that you get a good blend of performance while still being affordable compared to moving up to the 80 and 90 series of cards. So I think it's going to be a pretty common question to see whether or not it's worth going from a 3070 to a 4070. On the left, I got my EVGA FTW3 Ultra 3070. Notice the power consumption on the 3070 versus the 4070 while you're looking at the frames too. On the right, I have my Zotac Trinity, I think, 4070. And some key differences I want to point out here. The 3070 has 8 gigs of VRAM. The 2070 had 8 gigs of VRAM. The 1070 had 8 gigs of VRAM. And while during the pandemic, GPU makers could give us whatever they wanted and we just had to get whatever we could take. Now people are complaining that 8 gigs isn't enough for a mid-range card and look what we got. We got 12 gigs of VRAM on the 4070. So that's a win, right? Uh, not so fast. So the price went up to 600 as opposed to the typical price of 500 for the 70 series. So. Even though the VRAM allocation went up, the price went up too, so it's like they changed the naming kind of, but now this is closer to what the 70 Ti was back a generation or two ago. And now the 4060 Ti is more like what people used to consider the 3070. And this makes me want to just touch on a topic where people kind of get stuck in the time frame that they got into gaming or computing and they're like, well, back when I bought my first PC, uh, a 2070 was $399 and blah, 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 blah. So this is why I'm complaining. Well, a lot of things happened. There was a pandemic. The demand for computer parts and tech in general has just skyrocketed, not just not just for techie types of people, but the general population is pretty interested in tech too now. So things have changed a lot and we can't expect things to just stay the same all the time. So my suggestion is keep up with the changing times and <laughs> there will be an explanation for why things are changing drastically most of the time, okay? So for all the people complaining that the 4070 is so expensive now, just look at the 4060 Ti. It's more like what those people who complain think of when they're thinking of the 70 series. It's just shifted down a little bit. So I think that's a natural progression. You know, I use cars as an example a lot. I'm going to use the Honda Accord as an example, okay? The when it first came in to the market, it was more considered an entry-level car as it progressed over the years, as its reliability and name got built up. Its ranking or tiering has evolved over time, and that happens with any type of product. And now the Honda Accord, like I got in one the other day, the thing feels like an Acura. Like it's, it's like wicked nice. Um, and the Civic, looks more like what I used to think of as the Accord. 
So all I'm saying is Never things mind. evolve, things change. Don't it. get stuck in the time frame that you got into something and just assume that that's the best. Things are changing so quickly these days. You just got to keep up with what's going on and things will make sense. So that's my two cents for today. I'm going to go ahead and drop off here. Enjoy the rest of the video and have a good one. Take it easy.